Welcome to a condensed CBS 2 News at 4. In exactly four months, Chicago police will enforce security rules that affect residents and businesses in the areas close to the Democratic National Convention. This so-called buffer zone will include a ban on seemingly innocent activities like dog walking. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live on the near west side to explain the impact. Lauren? Well, Jim and Marie, this buffer zone will be in place for nine days, and it just so happens that stretch includes two Sundays, meaning worship services at this church and the seven others we counted in the lockdown area could be affected. Secret Service will operate vehicle checkpoints and put a gate right around the United Center. The buffer zone we're talking about is just outside of that. The likely boundaries are Maypole Avenue to the north, Jackson to the south, Levitt to the west, and Ashland to the east. Now, some of the things banned in this secure area are obvious. No guns no fireworks, no matches. But the city also says bicycles and dogs won't be allowed. A Chicago police higher up explained that's to protect residents from getting caught up in whatever demonstration activities will inevitably happen within the buffer zone. Here's what people living and working in the area think about all the rules. So do you think that they're not going to let me use this field right here? This is going, okay, all right, then it, it could be a, a slight inconvenience then, if that's the case, for sure. Probably going to be the safest people in Chicago that week, you know, so no, I'm cool. DNC activities will also happen at McCormick Place, so a second city buffer zone will be established there. Those anticipated boundaries are Cullerton Avenue to the north, 26th Street to the south, State to the west, and just before Lakeshore Drive to the east. City Council approved an ordinance today that allows Chicago police to establish these security boundaries and these rules. The Secret Service tells me it's still finalizing its plan. Reporting live on the windy near west side, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Thank you so much, Lauren.